Game day, game day, game day, game day, game day, woo! Thrasher Presents Skate and Destroy was developed by Z-Axis for the original PlayStation, or PSX, and released in the US in 1999. The game doesn't have as much recognition as another certain PlayStation-era skateboarding game, but skating fans and gaming fans alike agree that this game has far better technical value and realistic approach to the skating scene. Although, I am not worried at all about what's going on on the front of the backs. This guy knows what he's gotten himself into, and it certainly kicks ass. Look at him, soaring over the handrails in that staircase. He's practically surfing in the air. I wonder if he stuck the landing. Alright, let's put this into the Xbox. No, I'm putting it in the Xbox this time. The game starts out with a CG intro for Z-Axis, followed by the title and a trick compilation video with hip-hop over it. I've never been a big fan of hip-hop, but even this tune is catchy. Come to think of it, the game has a number of banging tunes. Every screen in this game is gently polished to demonstrate some of the raw attitude the skating scene offers. Starting a new game allows us to choose one of the many fictional characters who all have different strengths and weaknesses. Some are better at street skating, vert skating, some fall kind in the middle. You can even name them. It's kind of cool. The first area we can skate in is an abandoned warehouse near some fashion of suburbia. The game gives you some free time to skate around and learn both the area's layout and how your character handles. Feel free to practice your tricks before starting your run for real. One of the most notable differences between this game and another certain PlayStation-era skateboarding game is that this game has far more realistic falls and bails. Your character can smash into things and legitimately take damage. Whether it's a wall, the ground, a moving vehicle, or even a fucking train, your impacts look painful. This game was one of the first to implement ragdoll physics, and it helps the aesthetic greatly. Take enough damage and you break your board. You walnut. Runs over! Once started, your run lasts for about two minutes. Skate around and land massive combos all over for maximum points. At around 15 seconds left, the music dies down. Suddenly... Oh, what the hell? The damn cop shows up? The view switches to the cop as he chases after your character with a taser. Skate yourself away from him... Wait a minute. This is a game where a kid skates for a couple of minutes someplace before a cop shows up and immediately begins pursuing the kid to assault them. No pulling the kid aside, no telling them something like, hey, skateboarding's not allowed in this area. Just immediately goes for the jugular and whips his fucking taser out. This cop doesn't deserve to be a cop. Before you think I'm jumping to conclusions, let me lay this on you. Nowhere in this entire area is there a sign or any form of notification stating that skating isn't allowed here. There also appears to be no houses in the area, so there would be no noise complaint from residents. This warehouse is abandoned, so there was no one to watch over it in case vandals show up, which were not vandals, we're just skating here. Not to mention that the initial spawning point is on public property. We also only just started, so we have no bad reputation on us. The skating run lasted for only two minutes, so the cop had to be either on the prowl in the area, or has been driving from place to place super quickly to find someone, anyone, to take out. I deduced that this cop was specifically seeking us out so he could get his power trip fix by assaulting some youth. Hey kid, I want you to meet my little friend, Mr. Taser. If he catches you, <laughs> you'll lose, you walnut. Fortunately, we have wheels, and he doesn't. Skate far enough away from him, and you'll lose him, securing your run in the process. You can also wear him out by just staying out of reach until he literally dies of a fucking heart attack. Oh, my heart! <laughs> fucking brutal! I don't think I've ever met a cop who runs for 20 seconds, then drops dead. Or you can leave before he even shows up. Try catching me now, asshole! You can skate in a variety of areas, and they all offer different means for awesome skate runs. Inner city brick parks, plazas at the beach. One level's just a big drainage ditch. You can compete in competitions as well to earn some sponsorships. It serves as an aesthetic feature to help you customize your character to your liking. Unlike another certain PlayStation-era skateboarding game that railroads you into playing as people who are already established as professional skaters, <gasps> you, as the player, are allowed to be your own and make it your own. Who 
says you gotta be someone else. As a whole, the game is a good game. The controls can be a bit tricky to master. Uh, ha, ha, tricky, I made a pun. But you can still pull off some awesome tricks and combos and net yourself some sweet runs. You get to make a skater that you want and see them grow into a recognized figure in the skating world. Never let the man tell you how to dream! So yeah, Thrasher Presents Skate and Destroy is a game that pits you up against the man and lets you stick it to him.